y'all. Welcome to Ms. Clark's chemistry class. This is the last video I have on lab procedures. This lab procedure is on evaporation. Remember where we left off last. We had just filtered our mixture and we realized that there was still a combination of substances in our filtrate. So we want to take it a step further. We want to separate the tiny solid particles from the liquid particles. So we need to evaporate those off. And we're going to use an evaporating dish. You're going, again, I'm gonna ask you to sketch this apparatus. So make sure you have your notes and something to write with. When you get those, make sure and come back and let's get started. We're gonna remove the funnel and the clay triangle. Now we're gonna look at this, at the contents of this beaker. This is the runoff from the filtering and we call this the filtrate. The filtrate is what's left over. So now we're gonna put our wire gauze onto our ring clamp, and we're gonna put our evaporating dish. This is an evaporating dish. Okay, so I am gonna pour my filtrate into my evaporating dish. And then we're going to use the Bunsen burner to evaporate the water. In your lab, I want you to draw a picture of the lab setup for the evaporation, labeling all the equipment that's used. Now remember, we've got to use that roaring blue flame. Not only do we want to use the roaring blue flame, we want the top of the inner cone to be close to the evaporating dish, because remember, the top of the inner cone, that is where the hottest part of the fire is. Just be careful when you're using the evaporating dish, when it starts boiling, don't let any of the substance pop out onto you. If that is the case, turn down the heat. All right, so after all of your liquid has evaporated, this is what's left. Explain in detail how the sand, water, and salt were separated. Explain what techniques and what equipment were used and what was present at each step. Make sure to identify the location of each of the three substances, the water, salt, and sand, at the end of this procedure. What is the name of the process you used to separate a soluble substance from a solution? Evaporation. Pretty easy. Sometimes you use a hot plate, sometimes you use a Bunsen burner. It really just depends on what you're trying to evaporate. Sometimes a Bunsen burner is not safe, so we would need to use a hot plate. The number one precaution when you're doing evaporation is as the liquid starts to boil off, sometimes the solid particle left behind is going to start popping. You don't want that to pop out on you, so always be really careful whether you're using the hot plate or the Bunsen burner. Okay. This is all of the basic lab skills that I wanted to talk to you about right here at the beginning of the school year. We talked about how to put together the Bunsen burner, how to light the Bunsen burner, how to produce that hot, hot flame. Where is the hottest part of the flame? What do chemical reactions look like? What are some things we need to be thinking about? How do we measure reactions are happening? We also talked about filtration and then now lastly evaporation. I really hope this has helped you and it's gonna set you off to have a good successful year in the chemistry lab. Until next time, bye y'all.